are there some initial books that you recommend or there's some initial activities that you know the parent or caregiver should uh, connect uh, access so that they can get things started in terms of finding out and dealing with who they are as a person of African ancestry sure first firstly when you're dealing with children even with yourself the first thing you have to do is go on an intense crash course study of yourself and mm -hmm. In doing that, you have to start to determine what aspects of your character and your nature are already divine. Because sometimes what we end up, in, especially with our children, is we'll get into a certain system. Let's say a spiritual system or a conscious cultural system, a community, and we'll start stripping everything that doesn't resemble that system or that community without realizing that those things that you're stripping may actually be the divine aspects of you. Any system where you have like the, the, the Netu or you have the Orisha or you have the Lawal, they all have certain characteristics about them that within the confines of our society, we might say look crazy or the behavior is crazy. We've confuse what divine behavior is. The first thing we need to do is when you're dealing with your children is first determine if your child likes to draw, well, even if they're drawn on the walls. If your son likes to fight all the time, he's always getting into fights. Well, find out, maybe, well, we might have found our next war chief. You need to start looking at it like that as opposed to stripping, stripping uh -huh. and trying to get them to conform to something, even if it's your image of what you think is conscious. It's important that parents always seem like an indomitable mountain of wisdom and knowledge to their children. And I know that may seem a little egotistical, but it's because of where we live currently. Your children have to know without a shadow of a doubt that you are smarter than their teacher, than their basketball coach, football coach. You are smart and have more wisdom and they receive their counsel and guidance from within first. You can do your study and your study should be different than your children. This is where we get the confusion of rites of passage. You have to really respect the hierarchical order that comes with age. Start with positive affirmation. Start with learning the divinity that's already in them. So you, you study different divinities in our, in our systems, our traditional systems. Start with positive images. Surround yourself and your child with those things, but especially affirmations. And I think what's real important is to always establish a family mission statement. There should be a family mission statement posted at every door that you and your child walk out of every day to reaffirm the values and the convictions and the commitments that you have dedicated your family to. And it can be a dynamic mission statement that changes. There's nothing wrong with that because it should change. Your rules should change as you evolve and you grow. And really studying your child.